For Sugar Deal, the Cabinet Secretary for Industrialization, Aden Mohammed, has weighed in with what he called facts of the deal. The Cabinet Secretary says President Uhuru Kenyatta merely enforced an existing East African common market protocol of buying goods from the regional bloc. Patrick Amimo has the details. The move by the government to allow sugar imports from Uganda has left a bitter test in the mouth of politicians from the Western Kenya region sugar belt. Interestingly, in November last year, Kenya announced it would import 12,500 tons of sugar from Uganda and Zambia. The Uganda deal appears to have been sealed with President Uhuru Kenyatta's last week's visit to Uganda, though its quota is yet to be clarified. Talk about bringing cheap sugar into Kenya. Which cheap sugar? Do you... Where, where do you want us to get our shortfall from? I would rather get it from Uganda than from Brazil. There are so many goods that Uganda produces which we don't produce, which we can import if it is the issue of balancing trade between Kenya and Uganda. Sugar is not one of them. Kenya produces 550,000 metric tons of domestic sugar annually against a potential demand of 860,000 metric tons. The shortfall estimated at 300 metric tons annually is offset through imports. The Acting Cabinet Secretary for Agriculture has defended the deal to buy sugar from Uganda. What I think the President's visit has done is to really reinforce an existing common markets arrangement that we have today. Should we buy sugar from Tanzania or Uganda as opposed to maybe from other countries outside of the world, such as Brazil, which is one of the known sugar exporters uh, globally. On Thursday, FPs from Western Kenya Sugar Belt turned down an invitation to State House to discuss the trade pact on sugar between Kenya and Uganda. The MPs argue the deal will cripple the ailing sugar industry that supports almost half a million small scale farmers. The trade pact is now quickly turning political, with the Jubilee allied MPs from the Mount Kenya region rallying support for the president against the rivals from CORD. It opens doors for crooked business people and government officials who have the money and connections to import sugar from anywhere, give it a Ugandan label and dump it here in Kenya. The deal with that is there with the issue of the sugar. Why would we go and buy sugar from Brazil instead of our neighbor? We are not bringing all the sugar that we need as a country for consumption. We are actually importing the deficit. You love your neighbor as you love yourself. Uganda wanaua vitu yetu, tunawausia. Kenya is yet to combat cartels that import illegal and cheap sugar into the country and Adan was cagey on how the menace could be tackled. I think we should not allow, whether it is Uganda or any other country per se, is people to import sugar from other countries outside, package it in some of the regional market and then sell them as those countries sugar. The way we are going to deal with that is to have dialogues whether there are any issues or suspicions of those kind of things happening we've got to deal with it. Kenya is said to have one of the highest costs of producing sugar in Africa. It costs 570 US dollars to produce a ton of sugar in Kenya relative to 270 US dollars in Egypt. In Swaziland it costs 275 US dollars to produce a ton of sugar while in Malawi it costs 210 US dollars. The government now plans to privatize five state-owned sugar millers to enhance efficiency, production and competitiveness. If you look at today of sugar production, the privately owned sugar companies have better yields and better production than government owned. And the government has made it very clear that we want to privatize some of these sugar mills. The cabinet secretary will next week meet with stakeholders in the sugar industry to discuss the sugar controversy. Patrick Amimo. KTN News.